it's not incorrect or unfactual grammar to use singular they them pronouns. But but you but you chose but you chose to bring it up. You chose to use the incorrect pronouns for me. I I'm chose to use the correct pronouns for a single woman who is appearing on my show. I'm not a single woman though. I'm a very special non-binary trans person, <laughs> as you just pointed out. I Video brought to you by Morgan and Morgan and brought to you by Morgan and Morgan. When you're seriously hurt, your injury could be worth millions. Morgan and Morgan does not settle for low ball offers. Just in the past couple of months, Morgan and Morgan saw victories of 12 million in Florida, 34 times the highest insurance offer, 26 million in Philly, 40 times the highest insurance offer, and 6.8 million in New York, 25 times the highest insurance offer. The fee is absolutely free unless you win. Did you know? that you can start a claim with America's largest injury law firm in just one click. It's so easy that you can start your claim now with Morgan & Morgan at www.forthepeople.com forward slash Tatum, or you can click on the link in the description section, like and subscribe to the channel. Y'all already know what to do. Let's get into this. Ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen and ladies, I don't know who this lady is, but she is like the new Pierce Morgan. She is like the new Brandon Tatum. <laughs> if I had a show, this is what I would be doing. But listen, I'm okay with this simply because I think that people need to challenge some of these individuals on what reality really is. Now, you cannot find me or name me a person that's on television that's willing to do what she did. And I and personally, I don't think it's hateful. I was on Pierce Morgan's show and the clip went viral for me just keeping it real. Let's play the clip of her and what she said to this uh, host that came on that was non-binary, twin-spirited, or whatever she said. Roll the clip. Good afternoon, Julia. Thanks. You know my pronouns are they, them. How are you doing? Yeah. Um, thank you for telling me your pronouns. I use correct grammar. So the only, only thing I would need to refer you to is, for, to your face would be you. But I'm not being rude. You can choose your pronouns. You can choose what you want to call yourself, but you don't have a, you don't get to require me to use incorrect grammar and factually incorrect things. You're not a plural. You're a, you're a, you're a one person, and you're a, you're a female person. So I will use she and her. Thank you very much. Do what you like, I guess. Well, there you are. You didn't need to tell me then, did you? Maybe I'm just making sure people know in case they're watching and they want to refer to me respectfully. Is it disrespectful for me to use correct factual grammar? It's not incorrect or unfactual grammar to use singular they them pronouns for an individual. But we're here to talk about the cast review. Yeah, but but you but you chose but you chose to bring it up. You chose to use the incorrect pronouns for me. I I'm chose to use the you. correct pronouns for a single woman who is appearing on my show. I'm not a single woman though. I'm a very special non-binary trans person, <laughs> as you just pointed out. I, I didn't really just point that, that out. In the crowd. I didn't just point that. I introduced you as a journalist and a Virgin Radio presenter. No, just before I came on, you were talking about how people with all these labels like mm. to be special. And I'm just making sure that everyone knows I'm special. OK, I'm not special. I'm just a boring old heterosexual married woman. But, you know, sorry about that. We're not allowed to do that anymore. In fact, that probably does make me special now. I don't know. God damn. Do y'all think that was me? Or do you think it was appropriate? Let me, let me be honest. Comment in the comment section. Do you think that was mean? Did she go too far? What Should she have been a little more generous? She did invite the person on. I don't know. I, I don't know anymore, right? Because uh, years ago, I would have said that was a little too harsh. But now these people bludgeon us with this type of rhetoric. They force you. They, they, they humiliate you. They shame you. If you don't abide by the theology, which in fact is not consistent with the English language. If you are a singular person, you have to use singular personal pronouns. If you, it's no way to be a plural person. It, you can only be a singular person or a plurality of people. You cannot be a plural person. That's not consistent with the English language. If you were in English class, you would probably get kicked out of the classroom. You would probably fail in your grades because you would be improperly using pronouns. And, and I'm OK with a person saying I'm coming on to say X, Y, Z, but I'm also 
okay with a person challenging another on that topic and saying, look, I don't agree with you. You don't need to tell me what your pronouns are. Are you biological or are you not? Let's act in reality. You on my show, you do what I do on my show, and then I'm on your show, you can do what we do on your show. But I don't think the woman was mean. I think it was a, before I would have said it was mean, but nowadays it's like, nah, we got to fight back against this stuff. We cannot let what they would say the inmates rule the, the prison, the insane rule the asylum. Like, we can't let people who are operating in delusion somehow set the tempo for what the truth really is. And so shout out to this lady. I don't know what her name is, but shout out to her, Julia. Maybe her name is Julia. That's probably her show. Shout out to her for standing up for the truth and being honest and transparent about what's going on. Anyway, I'll see you suckers on the next one. No, I'm just playing. I'll see y'all on the next one.